Uh, well, it was a good week last week, uh, two good wins at home, and uh, now we really have a unusual Friday game, which is a good thing, though. It's a great rivalry game down at P and nationally televised game, CBS Sports. Uh, so game moved from Saturday to Friday night. So I uh, was able to uh, take Sunday off, Monday do a shooting workout, and we'll get back on the floor today, uh, try to get ourselves better, and then uh, Wednesday and Thursday start getting ready for Austin P. What's the biggest message to your team this week? Uh, just win today. Just try to be good today. Let's go 1-0 and today, uh, and that's with practice, class, and everything, and be the same thing tomorrow. Talked about, you know, take a little synopsis of the team when you get to 7-1. If you got to 7-1, you're there 7-1 now. So give me your thoughts about how you guys have done this first part of the first half of the OBC season. Imagine you're not 8 no now when you're 7-1. So, uh, but, you know, you, got, you know, uh, it's good, uh, but you got to keep everything in perspective. We've been fortunate. We had a, you know, five of our first eight at home, and now the schedule flips. So uh, we can't look at it three games in a row on the road. Excuse me, can't look at it like we have three road games in a row. Uh, it's a week at a time, and the only game this week is at Austin P. So our focus right now is to, to get ready for them and, and to try to go down there on, on their floor and, and beat a good basketball team. But uh, please, where we're at, um, you know, probably it wasn't very many people think we'd be 7-1 and one right now. Um, but that's a credit to our guys and, and my coaches for uh, doing a good job keeping everybody together and keeping them working and growing and, and going in the right direction. So uh, we just need to keep getting better on the defensive end, uh, keep getting better um, with how we handle adversity, uh, how our focus and, uh, and our character is uh, throughout the games. And if we can do that, we can keep winning. How do the guys respond to the one day at a time mentality and that approach? Uh, I think pretty good. I think pretty good. I mean, we just started it last week, so uh, so I, I think they've been good and I'm just going to try to hammer that home as much as we can uh, because you have to be good every day and you have to be good every night. You can see it. It doesn't matter the conference. Um, you know, you know, Eastern Illinois wins at SEMO. Uh, Tech goes to Belmont and has a shot to win at the buzzer. You know, it doesn't it doesn't matter. You can win anywhere. You can get beat anywhere. So you have to be focused and, and ready to play. And um, and that's how league play is. SEC, OVC, regardless. What are you better at that might surprise you right now that you didn't think you'd be as good at? Team well, the things we struggled at uh, in the non-conference, we, we got dominated on the glass. Free throws were terrible. Uh, didn't, you know, weren't shooting it particularly well. You know, but if you look at our conference stats, our free throw stats are terrific. Uh, percentage is 69. You wish that would be above 70, but just the amount of attempts compared to our opponents is great. That means you're doing the right things offensively and then defensively you're being pretty disciplined because foul trouble was a major issue for us early in the year. Uh, rebounding, you know, we were getting dominated. We're plus seven, plus eight almost. Uh, we're doing a better job taking care of the ball at times and we're averaging right at 80 points a game. So, um, you know, we're doing some good things, but at the end of the day, you, you, you're a better offensive team if you're a really good defensive team. And if you're not a good defensive team, I think you always find yourself in, in tough spots to win. Second time playing P this year. What are some things you're taking from that first game that you're going to use from some? Um, you know, I haven't watched the first game uh, again yet. You know, I watched it after we played. Uh, you know, I watched the Tech game. I'm in the middle of watching another one of their games. Uh, I'll either watch their game uh, tonight or, or, or first thing in the morning before we start practicing for them. So, um, you know, I, I don't have a enough information to really answer that, but, you know, I know Horton got in some foul trouble. Um, you know, Austin P. you know, they kind of know what we're going to do. We kind of know what they're going to do. You just got to go out and, and defend, rebound, execute, play hard, play together, play the right way. So, you know, Horton, Triggs, big keys, no question, uh, two of the better front court players in our league. Uh, Beatran, uh, one of the top scorers in our league. And then you know D.D. Smith, he didn't play against Jacksonville State, and that was a big, that was a uh, that was a big concern for P. And uh, he was back, played 40 minutes against Tech, and uh, was really good for him. So, you know, between Xavier and D.D. and uh, and Beatran, and then the two bigs, and, and um, you know, and then Dyson played well uh, the other day. So, you know, they've got a core six, seven guys, and uh, you have to be ready for. Them. Jarvis kind of talked about with the early start with Tech, they kind of know what kind of mindset they have to get in when things have changed. He talked about that, how using that on the road. How do you help with that or how, what have you heard the guys talk about? They know that they have to get each other's energy ready to go when they get on the road. 
yeah, I just think that comes from daily preparation and daily focus and talking to those guys. Um, you know, we have to, we, we didn't do a great job on the Illinois trip, um, first half at Eastern Illinois, being really focused, um, turned the ball over too much, unca un, unforced. Uh, second half at Eastern Illinois, we were very good. Uh, up at Edwardsville, you know, at spots in the first half, we were very good, but, you know, we didn't, we didn't have our so-called our eyes up and our focus wasn't right. And uh, we let the game get away from us, uh, from all in. So uh, that's the biggest thing that we have to, you know, energy and the hype and all that, that's only going to take you through pregame warm-ups. You better defend, you better rebound, you better be able to handle adversity, you better be able to handle the heat and the crowd down there. Uh, you can't hear anything down there. I mean, you just can't. I've been down there eight, seven times, so, um, you know, so, but it's a fun place to play. I know that. Talk about the growth, really, even in the last four games of uh, Farrell, just how well he even played uh, the, the two road games before last Yeah, time. he's, the last two weeks, I think him and Jeffrey Moss both have played really well and, 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 and really started to grow up a little bit. But it takes taking Farrell a while, uh, but we've been able to stay with him and stay the course with him. And, you know, he's finally starting to get into some shape. He's moving better. He's playing a little bit more, a lot more aggressive and a lot more physical. And he's not getting those bad fouls. He got him at Edwardsville. Uh, you know, sometimes, you know, we go back and watch the tape. He didn't do anything. Uh, but, you know, it's just some, some tough calls. And, you know, we need to keep him on the floor. He's done a good job, uh, especially P. You know, P's going to play big. And uh, they, they throw some different post guys at you. So I'm really proud of, um, you know, his effort and his focus. And, Made five out of seven free throws, so that was huge too. And is it good? It's just one game this week. You know, focus a lot on P, and then focus on the trip next week. Good time yeah, that. you know, even if regardless who we played, uh, we're we're really not going to prep for three, four days. It's just we we got too much to do with our team and get our team better. And that's why I wanted to get him some rest and shoot yesterday. That's why today will be, you know, I may throw some in there that I know P's going to do, but they're not. I'm not going to talk about it that it's something P related. Uh, and then Wednesday and Thursday when we get into our pre-practice, our breakdown stuff, into our shell actions, then we'll start uh, working on Austin Peay.